Hello. This tutorial will show you how to build a lightweight camera rig for your kite or tethered balloon. This is the lightest weight rig you can make for shooting straight down photos to get that satellite view of the Earth. We're going to use a juice bottle, six rubber bands, and uh, some string. I'm going to use the string that came with the Public Lab balloon kit. This is just a common 64 ounce juice bottle and we're going to start by removing the label and cutting it open. I'm going to start by cutting the bottle um, at the line of this top section. To make this stabilizer fin, I'm going to cut two sections from the lower part of the juice bottle and just use the existing corrugations as guides. I cut two sections that were two corrugations wide, which is about an inch wide. To turn these two loops into a straight piece, I'm going to cut them open at the seam and bend them straight. To straighten out these two pieces, I need to bend back the top two corners. With the corners bent back, I have these two straight pieces and need to tape them together. I'm going to tape them together and try to keep the two pieces straight and aligned so there's a flat end to tape to the bottle. The stabilizer fin tapes to the back of the bottle right behind the camera. The fins go directly behind the camera to pull the camera straight in the wind so it doesn't just spin. To determine where to put the stabilizer fin, I'll put the camera in the bottle and tape the fin directly behind it so that the rig doesn't spin Next, we're going to make the camera harness, which consists of six rubber bands and three string loops. We will start by tying a loop of string between the doubled up rubber bands. First, we'll position the bands on the camera. Double up a rubber band and put one on each side of the camera, avoiding all the menu buttons and the little zoom button. Measure a piece of string twice the length of the camera. Cut it and tie it into a loop. To make a loop, double the string over and tie an overhand knot in the ends.
check that the loop is the length between the two rubber bands, roughly. Take the bands off the camera, make sure they're doubled up, and loop your string loop through the bands. To tie the string loop onto the second doubled up rubber band, I need to tuck it through itself, which means putting the string loop through the second rubber band and then tucking the first rubber band through the string loop. The next step is to tie on the hanging attachment loops that hold the camera inside the bottle, which are these straps right here, four rubber bands tied at the corners of the camera. We want to tie the bands about a quarter of the way around the doubled up rubber band. We'll start by marking the doubled up rubber bands <clears throat> an even distance away from the center loop. Now I'll tie on four rubber bands, looping them through themselves at each of the markings. If you don't pull the rubber band all the way tight, it's easy to untie it and try again if you don't get it in exactly the right place. So with my rubber bands tied on, I can tell that they're roughly even, evenly spaced, except for this side. So I'm just going to move this string to between the two bands by loosening it a little bit and sliding it over. Then I'm going to tie all my rubber bands tight by pulling each one. Our last step will be to make two string loops that tie the four rubber bands together into two pairs. We want the string loops to be long enough so that when we put the camera into the bottle, they come out the bottom and can be easily grabbed to pull the camera into place. Measure out about 10 inches or 25 centimeters worth of string. and make two pieces the same length. It's important to make these two loops the same length, and I'll do that by putting a knot in both of them loosely, and then pulling them tight together. I'll wrap them both around one finger and start to pull tight. I want these loops to be towards the ends of these strings. Next, I'll gather the four rubber bands into two pairs, one on each side. Tie the loop through each pair. It's important to, to loop the loop through itself so that this knot and these little ends are at the rubber bands. This keeps the strings from getting in the way of the shot, of the camera's shot. And repeat the process on the other side. The rubber bands may wear out over repeated use. It's important to check before flight at each of the tie points to look for signs of wear or splitting on the bands. With our harness complete, I'm going to put it on the camera by pulling the two doubled up rubber bands over to the places we put them at the start.
I want the harness to be at the back of the camera, with the rubber bands at the corners. Again, I'm, make, I'm positioning the bands so that they don't hit any of the buttons or zoom levers, so everything's still accessible on the camera. To secure the camera to the rig so it doesn't fall out, we'll loop the attachment loops onto two tabs cut in the bottom of the bottle. The tab should be about an inch wide, so I'll measure about a half inch or a little over a centimeter out from both sides of this center seam of the bottle and cut in about an inch or two and a half centimeters. To tension the camera in place Pull the rubber bands down out of the bottle. And I normally hold them at the neck as I pull them around and loop them on the two tabs. On the fin side, I'm going to tuck the rubber band through the space between the fins. So our attachment loop comes down and loops into the inside of this flap. For the final step, we're going to attach two attachment loops for hanging our rig. These require about two feet or uh, 60 centimeters worth of string. It's important that they're the same length so the camera hangs straight. Tie two overhand knots loosely in each loop and then pull them tight together. Now I'm going to loop them around the neck of the bottle and through themselves each on one side. Just like that. These will usually balance best at the back, somewhere around the back of the bottle, about there, but can be adjusted later. I pull them tight, I pull both loops tight in an even point. And then hold them in place with a doubled up rubber band. Now, let's put our camera in and check its balance. Sometimes the camera ends up in a little crooked. You can see that I've pulled these two bands unevenly. So I'm going to pull one side out more and push the camera in place until it settles square. We're done, ready to shoot.